The thing that kept Christ on that cross was love, not the nail. Ooh. I have never known anyone to accept Christ's redemption and later regret it. Sin is the most powerful force in the universe, for it sent Jesus to the cross. Only one force is greater, the love of God. Ask God to show you his plans, not bless your dreams. We are the Bibles the world is reading. We are the creeds the world is needing. We are the sermons the world is heeding. You not only choose between two ways of life, but you choose between two masters. The wonderful news is that our Lord is a God of mercy, and He responds to repentance. Our society strives to avoid any possibility of offending anyone, except God. I don't need a successor, only willing hands to accept the torch for a new generation. When wealth is lost, nothing is lost. When health is lost, something is lost. When character is lost, all is lost. We say to our children, act like grown-ups, but Jesus said to the grown-ups, be like children. God never takes away something from your life without replacing it with something better. God will prepare everything for our perfect happiness in heaven, and if it takes my dog being there, I believe he'll be there. Life without God is like an unsharpened pencil, it has no point. True prayer is a way of life, not just for use in cases of emergency. We should ask ourselves three questions before we speak. Is it true? Is it kind? Does it glorify Christ? It is not the body's posture, but the heart's attitude that counts when we pray.
There is nothing wrong with men possessing riches. The wrong comes when riches possess men. You can't control the length of your life. You can control the depth. Every day is a gift from God, no matter how old we are. If you are ignorant of God's word, you will always be ignorant of God's will. Suffering is part of the human condition and it comes to us all. The key is how we react to it, either turning away from God in anger and bitterness, or growing closer to Him in trust and confidence. Prayer is the rope that pulls God and man together. But, it doesn't pull God down to us. It pulls us up to him. The greatest waste in all of our earth, which cannot be recycled or reclaimed, is our waste of the time that God has given us each day. God proved his love on the cross. When Christ hung and bled and died, it was God saying to the world, I love you. My home is in heaven. I'm just traveling through this world 